And once again, your referee in charge is Toby Gibson. Introducing first, he fights out of the red corner. He weighed in at 133 pounds. He's wearing the black and silver trunks. His record stands at eight victories, seven defeats, one draw, five wins by knockout. From Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico, here is Alejandro Tito Ramirez. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 136 pounds. He's wearing the white trunks trimmed in red. He's undefeated as a professional, a perfect record of five bouts, five victories from Ventura, California. Introducing Daniel Cervantes. Cervantes and Ramirez are scheduled for four rounds. Toby Gibson, third man inside. Okay, gentlemen, I've given your instructions prior to this fight in your respective dressing rooms. Turn around. I consider this a legal punch on both boxers. Any questions from the red corner? Any questions from the blue corner? You may clean fight. Good luck to both of you. What a view from Skycam. See, it does more than football games, Teddy. Skycam with us all weekend long from the Roman Plaza Amphitheater here at Caesars Palace. Of course, it'll give us all the sight lines that you want to see for tomorrow's big four-fight pay-per-view. There's Daniel Cervantes, Teddy, a young man who's 5-0, only 19 years old. We've seen him before on some of our cards. And he's well-regarded. We'll see what he can do tonight against Alejandro Ramirez. And 5-0, all decisions, having gone four rounds five times. So it would appear, at least by that record, that he's a boxer, not a puncher, at least not so far in his career. Snaps out that jab, follows it up with a right hand early, finding some range in the center of the ring. The weight of Ramirez has really fluctuated in his career from featherweight to welterweight. He was 147 back in April of 2003. See, that's evidence to me of some of the reasons why he's 8, 7, and 1. Takes fight probably on quick notice and out of shape. Yeah, Teddy, you just look at uh, Alejandro Ramirez wearing the gray trunks with the silver flap trim and, and you say to yourself okay they're here tonight at 133 how could he possibly put 14 more pounds on that frame and look decent and that's as i just said accounts probably for some of those losses in that record ramirez eight seven and one he has been in against Cornelius Locke, who we've seen before, a nice prospect out of Michigan. He was knocked out in the third round against Locke. He's been knocked out twice in his career. He also fought Ben Dunn. That was a fight that we called Teddy in Arizona, and he lost a six-round decision. Dunn did not look at his best that evening. We had him down in Tucson, but still good enough to beat Tito Ramirez. Ramirez doesn't have to worry, probably not tonight anyway. Oh, knockout out. losses as you said he's been stopped twice but in there with although an undefeated fight in Cervantes again a fighter that so far has not displayed power in his career with no knockout exchange as they come together short right uppercut on the inside from Cervantes what you see is what you get with Cervantes technically solid quick hands Good boxing skills, just lacking that real pop on his punch. Charged forward with a right hand against Ramirez. Cervantes, 19 years old. His hometown is Oxnard, California. Same hometown as Fernando Vargas, who's trying to resurrect his career. Teddy, we actually didn't get a chance to talk about what you thought of Vargas when he came back against Ray Joe Val recently, trying to box a little more as Vargas. Well. You think he's got enough left? You know. That's all right. It's it made all right. you That's wonder right. in that fight. Not a great performance for him, but he was off for a long time. He had back problems. You want to let him get one under his belt, but, but not a great performance after what you've seen Vargas in the past. But it's good to have him back. One round done. Five. Round scheduled between Alejandro Ramirez and Daniel Cervantes. Cervantes in the white with red trim. Two lightweights here. Cervantes 5-0 to start off his lightweight career. Of course, tomorrow night, former lightweight champion of the world who migrated north, winning three world titles. Sugar Shane Mosley will be on our ESPN inaugural pay-per-view from right here at Caesars Palace. How'd you get out? Good hold. 
Cervantes body shot with the right hand. Cervantes likes to use that left hand to measure, to keep a little bit of a distance with Ramirez. Doesn't always snap it out. Goes to the body, then goes upstairs with the left hand. You see the punches in round number one, a 23 to 12 edge for the unbeaten Daniel Cervantes. Good exchange on the inside, good flurry, and now Cervantes jumps on him a bit. An uppercut started off and also capped a left hand upstairs. Two things that you could see uh, the forte for Cervantes. One, he has quick hands, and two, he puts them together. It's one thing to have fast hands, but if you're throwing singles, not doubles, you don't get the full use out of that speed. You don't take advantage of that gift. Cervantes knows how to take advantage of it. They throw doubles and triples. Cervantes likes that uppercut on the inside. He's found a home because Ramirez will lay his head in the middle instead of on the side. What Ramirez should do on the inside since he's eaten quite a few uppercuts early in this fight is either get his head on the side, Joe, or cut one glove a little bit under his chin to catch that punch knowing that Cervantes likes to use it. Cervantes shows the ability to fight inside and to take it outside, too. That ability has given him just the advantage he needs with the one-dimensional Ramirez. I think Pancho Martinez could have used that same advice of defending the uppercut in our first fight. We saw Jason Litz out. Go to 14 and 0 with 14 knockouts to open up this big weekend of ESPN boxing. And now here's another combination from Daniel Cervantes as he backs up Ramirez. And what you like there from Cervantes was recognition. Recognition that Ramirez went straight back, Joe. And good technical understanding that Cervantes took steps with him and continued the flow of punches going. Well, heavyweights are coming up in our main event, Dominic Gwynn and Friday Ahunaya. Standing by with our Jeremy Shep, the former heavyweight champion of the world, The Rock, Hasim Rockman. Joe, always good to see The Rock. Teddy, you know what I like about what Rockman's done recently with his career and his comeback trail is he almost took on the attitude of a hungry prospect again. He said, let me just fight, let me stay active, give me club shows, get me off TV, I want to work my way back in and I want to earn it. And he's done a wonderful job of doing that, obviously earning the title shot with Vitaly Klitschko. Unfortunately, Klitschko with the back surgery this week and he's been delayed once again. And it has served him well to keep his weight down. Rockman, a good puncher and a good chin. And as he said, fits in with probably anybody now the way the heavyweight division sizes up. Round number three, Alejandro Ramirez and Daniel Cervantes. Cervantes in the white trunks with red trim. He's from Oxnard, California, same hometown as Fernando Vargas. He landed 29 out of 79 in that second round, good for 37%. Ramirez landing 18%. Cervantes 5-0, and oh, just 19 years old. And as I said earlier, Good hand speed and technically sound, Cervantes. Impressive. He goes downstairs, goes upstairs, puts bunches and bunches. Recognizes when he should stay on an opponent. Recognizes when he should get out of town a little bit. What a beautiful evening here. Friday night fights coming to you from Caesars Palace, the Roman Plaza Amphitheater, right on the Vegas Strip. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, Jeremy Schaap, Brian Kenny, our host. We told you Daniel Cervantes unbeaten, the white trunks with red trim, Ramirez in the black and silver. He's a veteran that's been going up and down with his weight, takes fights, has eight wins, seven losses, one draw. Cervantes only 19 years old. There's a right hand that he drives down. Still to come tonight. Friday, Ahunaya takes on Dominic Wynn. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. And then tomorrow, more heavyweight action. Calvin Brock and Jameel Big Time McCline, a much-anticipated heavyweight showdown. The undefeated Calvin Brock with the biggest fight of his career. You can see it only on ESPN pay-per-view. That's tomorrow night. Teddy, just to clarify some things, ESPN pay-per-view is, of course, available in Metro New York if you have a satellite dish or on ESPN.com. But unfortunately, 
please look into seeing it some other way if you are a cable vision subscriber. But ESPN.com, the place to be. It archives the pay-per-view. You can watch it all the way till the end of the month for the same $29. Although, pretty much one way so far for Cervantes the first two rounds. Ramirez trying to step it up a little bit this round, but the quicker hands, the more amount of punches that Cervantes puts together is probably keeping him in the lead here as Ramirez goes straight back. Good closeout for Daniel Cervantes to show his stuff here. He's coming out for round number four against Alejandro Ramirez. Cervantes 5-0 and, and ahead on the punch stats. 77 out of 226 total punches. Landed 34%. Petty scorecard. Pretty easy to read. 30-27 for the unbeaten Cervantes. The fight has been pretty well in hand for Cervantes. If there is anything that he could probably work on, a little bit of flaw in his makeup, it would be that sometimes he pulls straight back in a straight line, doesn't break it off to the side. And with more experienced fighters, even with Ramirez in spots tonight, they will step with you and find you. You can see Cervantes every once in a while goes straight back. He needs to learn to take it out the side door. That lateral movement so key defensively in this game. Now he comes forward with a combination. Good work with the left hand and then a straight right as Ramirez was up against the ropes. Now digging in with that right hand uppercut. Cervantes sneaky. He lays in there, loads you to sleep like right now and then all of a sudden he does that. Opens up with quick bunches of punches. He'll lay there, he'll let you think that he's going to rest with you, almost make a deal with you on the inside. That he's not going to work. Like right here you can see it. And then, all, home, home. Since he's been on the inside and then all of a sudden, he just goes. open up, and when he does, he gets into a roll of rhythm. And if he gets his opponent going straight back, he takes advantage. He stays on it. Great analysis, Teddy. Right, We've seen up, that from up, Cervantes up. tonight. Something to look for in the last minute here of this fourth round. Watch up, Cervantes as he'll look to create room with his first, first one or two punches. Once he creates a little room, then he will pour it on. And look to get make home, more of home. it. Come on. Go, punch it out. Let's go, home. When you watch fighters from a defensive standpoint, usually there's three ways they go about it. They move their head, they block punches, or they use their legs. Cervantes so uses two lines of defense. One is to block. The other is to do that. Uses quick hands to keep you defensive. Showed us glimpses of a very nice straight hand here in the fourth round. Landed it a couple times. No wrestling, no wrestling. Come on. Other than the blocking, Cervantes will use his clean legs. Inside, no, not like an Ali or a Roy Jones, Come on, no, but no. his step out to create distance. Come on, no hold. Ramirez game all the way tonight, but just a little slower, one step behind. Cervantes. Cervantes would throw five, six punches, while Ramirez throws one or two. Nice showing from the 19-year-old. Daniel Cervantes, 19 years old, unbeaten from Oxnard, California, showing his stuff here on Friday Night Fight. We will have more and get the decision when we come back to Caesar's Palace. Joe Ramirez. Thus, we end up with Teddy Atlas's scorecard that reads 40 to 36. It would be a shock if Jake Gutierrez has any other news but that. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of lightweight boxing, we go to the scorecards. All three judges, Robert Hoyle, Dave Moretti, and Jerry Roth, scored this bout the same 40 to 36. All in favor of the winner by unanimous decision, he's still undefeated, Daniel Cervantes. So six wins before his 20th birthday. Daniel Cervantes moves to 6-0. and Ramirez record evened up at 8-8-1. Eight, eight of course, still to come, heavyweights in our main event. But first, 